Somebody talk back. Okay. Okay. When I went on, what the problem was, it was come back. We're used to doing author searches, cited reference searches, but the thing we in our topic searches, but we aren't usually doing comparison searches. And the, you end up running into a whole set of little problems. First, wait, how do I do it for a university? A nice thing that Web of Science has done is they have now, you can search on organization enhanced. And what that means is they have put together a controlled vocabulary list of universities. There's tens of thousands of them. Um, now your best thing to start is what you think it would be, okay? So usually we would think, oh, we'll just put in Utah. And you sort of start with what you think it would be, see what turns up and you say, whoa, 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 whoa. Can't be 60, let's go back. And you know it can't be 60. <laughs> And sometimes it's slow trying to go back. It's always looking for forms when you try to go back. Okay, how would we do it then? So, Bob, Bob I'm sorry. Yeah? We can't see your screen. Okay. Host disabled participant screen sharing. Les is going to fix it. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let's see if I can get that. Can you see Web of Science? Okay. No, we can't. So. What? Can they? I still can't see it. Yeah, it's, it's not up there you yet. You still can't see it? Yeah. No. Okay. Share screen. Put that. Now can you see it? Yes, Bob, that's good. Okay, all right. So then you have to experiment around a little. So we put in what we're used to saying, okay, it's University of Texas at El Paso, okay? And you see what comes up. You say, hmm, found no record. Well, then you do, and you just sort of, usually it comes up pretty quick. Sometimes it comes up immediately. Sometimes you have to fiddle just a little bit right here. You also can go into their list and find things, but that can actually be almost more confusing. Okay, so now we have a UTEP list. All right, I'm gonna see if I can just minimize all this. There. Okay, so we get a UTEP list. To then analyze it, you do what's called, you analyze the list. If you want to actually just do a thing just on this list. Now, this brings up all these topics, okay? And then at the end of the day, what we're wanting to do, there's two ways to search. One is to go after areas of research and compare areas of research. Do this by going into this list. I find expanding it 250 is a good view to look at. It's typically our size of the university anywhere from 150 to 250 topics turn up. The topics are assigned by an algorithm by the web of science, okay? So there ends up being some overlap. 
but it is a way to study things by topical area. So you'll catch interdisciplinary research where there's really two or three different departments doing research in a field. And you would select your topics. So you might go, okay, I want chemistry multidisciplinary. I want to go down and find physical chemistry and you continue on through the list. Once you have selected, the, gone through the whole list, you then go to view selected. And at this point, you'll find, you'll be able to create a citation report. Okay. Now, I didn't know, I didn't do anything on years yet. Because one of the issues you want to decide is, do I want to do it by departments or do I want to do it by research areas? Quite often, I think you probably want to do both if they're doing comparisons to other universities. Now note, at the top of this report, you get all this summary information, okay? Total publications, the H index, time cited, average number of citations. All that's at the top. The last five years historical citations at the top. As usual, it rank orders the particular publications. Now, for what we were doing, I was doing with Dr. Pennington was we were actually, we ended up eventually focusing on just recent years. Uh, but what we did, once I got to a citation report, I would just do select page and I click on their email link. That'll send you a nice clean email. If you, if you start doing saves, then you have problems because it likes to save things either into an Excel sheet that's actually rather confusing or it saves it HTML, but it saves it into a folder plus the raw data and you have problems that you can't go email folders. So, and I think that's actually a security issue. Once you get started, like for Dr. Pennington, I just went, I put ours in as one master thing. I could send it to myself. I would put a note. I'll just say test ignore. <laughs> So I was coded the notes. I made the notes so they were straightforward. So she knew, okay, UTEP math department, UTEP environmental research. Uh, and then I would tell whatever years it covers. So she would know when the email came in. Since it's coming in directly from Web of Science, that can be an issue. Now, what if I wanna limit to years? Well, there's a couple things you do. One, you probably will decide, okay, let's do really since UTEP started to get seriously into the research end. I can go down here and I'll do a custom year range. I decide 1996 is a good starting point. It means I can report things in five year segments. And that's about when UTEP started a lot of their big expansion. Okay, so then I can click on search. It only pulls up 96 to 2021. Now, if I wanted to limit this further, like for my five-year options, I go here at the analyze page, behooves you to keep track, to just make a little quick note in your mind or on paper. Okay, that's a page where I have 13,000 results. Okay, go down here, pick the options. So I can decide, okay, let's just do nine and start with 96 to 2000. Select, I go to refine. I go to create citation report.
And then I go down here, select page. When it finishes loading. And then I click on the email and it sends the email off. Now I just finished bright and early this very early this morning, sending off my last little batch of six more emails. Uh, the last few days I've actually sent like 300 email citation reports to Dr. Pennington. Okay. Uh, and they're the sort exactly the sort of things you wanted to find. Now, when you want to then, okay, I sent one, I want to change my years. On the first one, I was sending her 1996 to 2021 on the first citation report. So I went just went back one screen and changed the publication years. Now, problem is this is what SciFinder is using as their base screen. So for subsequent reports, I want to jump five here to the next five. I go back a second screen, make very sure that SciFinder has finished loading. They're putting things into forms on the software end. And if you try to jump the gun at all, it will decide, oops, I couldn't find any information. You get bumped out to some new login screen and you'll say, oh no, what happened? Now, a nice thing is though, even if you get totally bumped out, like you get bumped out at our end, at UTEP's end, you log back in, they remember you from your IP address. So they actually bring you back sort of where you started, where you were. So you actually can recover things okay. So I went back two screens, I click on reply, I do another citation record. All right, now that's for topic areas. And I pick some topic area. The other thing, I had to hunt around a little bit for the other type of search. How do we do departments? One issue there is different universities have different names for basically the same department, okay? And they change names over time and occasionally you run a university that will use a building because how we do the name if you want departments, add a row here. What you're going to want to search in is their address field. Okay. But there's one little trick. Like if I wanted to do math, well, I don't have to capitalize that. I can start with math as a department, or I can truncate it. Then you use the connector same and you capitalize it. And it's in, and then what I do is, what I found worked really nice is to use the city the university was in. Okay. So I used El Paso because it will look for the items in the same field of, in the address record. So it will pull them close. They have to be close together then in the address or look in the same part of the address. Now, if you have to fiddle around a little bit sometimes for the department. Now in UTEP, it's straightforward. Some it is not straightforward. In that case, pick something that you know for sure would be like a math item, okay? wouldn't be some other department typically. You go down and you see how their abbreviation is, how it's in here. Now, when you do this in the address field, common things like university departments, they do have a controlled, semi-controlled list of terms so that some of the terms, if I put math or mathematics, it bumps, it pulls math. Anyways, okay. Others are not quite so straightforward. Uh, BIOL for biology, the problem is a lot of areas put that in multiple departments, especially if they have a medical school. So that can throw off what you're looking for. So you have to remember, sometimes have to go hunt a little bit to figure out. In geology, 
half the schools I was comparing to, they had switched to earth sciences. But they switched around the year 2000. So I'd find some a handful of geology titles and I would go look at those and then start looking at more recent stuff that came up with that. And then I would find the alternative name. And I got so, oh, geology didn't turn up much. Then I just went automatically, redid the search and put a parenthesis around it. So right here, we have math for UTEP. And this is the department, okay, in the custom year. Now math raises an interesting, and if I was doing like geology for UTEP would be fine, for some other universities, I would have to, for some universities, I had to go and do this. Oh, or Earth. Pick up all the ones that switched over to some Earth science variation. And then I would search that. So it would pick up the alternative name for what whether geologists now work in that university. And you do the same. When you go through, then you create your department or your subject set, create a citation report, send that off. And then if I want to change years, to wait for it all to load. First time you change years, you do it from this screen. Subsequent times you go back two pages and then you'll have this, this nice little screen with all the years. I found it very convenient and actually nice so I wouldn't make mistakes. I was doing five year gap. The fact that I mark these because if you do it where you can, yeah, there's a way around. So you can put in years as part of an advanced search structure. But the problem is you would mess up. You, you'd put down, okay, 96 to 2000. Then by accident, you put down 2000 to 2004, 2000 to 2005. And you'd start duplicating years in it. This was nice and simple. Okay. I pick five, I erase them, I pick the next five. And just went right on through the list like that. And it gave her, Dr. Pennington, the type of data she was looking for, because uh, she really wanted to do a chart over time of both publications and citations to publications and wanted to get a feel, be able to do comparisons to other universities with this. And so this sort of doing it this way worked very nice, it's worked very nicely for her. Now I'm gonna be giving her feedback when she finally finishes putting it all into tables and stuff, uh, she'll probably finish that today and then we'll correspond back and forth how to present it and what sort of types of things to, are most important and how to do these comparisons a little more, talk, walk, talk through it. But that is what I've been doing multiple times a day. I can only stand to do all of this sort of like for about an hour, hour and a half at a stretch. And then I have to take a big break because it makes me a little bit crazy. So any questions? Thanks, Bob. Uh, I don't have any questions yeah. as of now. Okay. It's just good to have it in yeah. front of me in case I ever need to do it. I think that once I have to do it, yeah. maybe I'll understand it a little bit, a little bit better. Yes, uh, because you normally don't do this where we're trying to compare departments. I probably haven't compared departments in like four years. Um, and they've done little changes in their interface and their standardization and this type of thing. Um, so I 